Great. Another boring day at school. This sucks. Hey Rosie, it's time for school. You got to have your breakfast. This is my dad. He's kind of fun but sometimes strict. Oh come on dad. I just woke up. Can't you give me a few minutes? Alright. I'll let you wake up, but get dressed because the school bus is coming. Okay, now I will get dressed and ready for school. Rosie, do you really have to wear the same clothes every single day? Yes, because I like them. You can't make me wear something else. Yeah, whatever. I'll be waiting outside I guess. Hey Rosie, your breakfast is ready. This is my mom. She's a bit like my dad but less aggressive. Alright mom, I will eat my food. That was delicious. Alright. Let's drop you off to school now. Hey Rosie, let's race to the door. This is my brother Kalu. He loves playing video games and hanging out. And I'm Rosie Anderson, your mild troublemaker in Vion City. Guys! Come on! The bus is here. Come on Rosie. Hey, wait for me. Oh man, I lost the race. Too bad. I'm way faster than you. Oh. The bus is here. Bye dad. Man, I don't want to go to school. It's boring there. Rosie, shut your mouth. We don't have a choice. We can learn more stuff there, and do fun activities. So you better not do something bad. You don't want to get an ass whooping, do you? No. That's what I thought. Don't ruin everyone's day like you always do. Anyways, now we wait until you get to elementary school, and then everyone else will go to middle school. And some of us including me will go to high school. Hey Rosie, what's up? Oh, hey Dora. Nothing much. I'm just getting sick and tired of school. I know right? School sucks, I really hate going there, but my mom said that I don't have a choice. Anyways, I have some good news. What's the good news? It's my ninth birthday today, I'm hosting a party at my house. Do you wanna come? Wow. Happy birthday Dora. Thanks Rosie. Wait a minute. Did you just say that you're gonna have a party? I would like to come. Me too. I didn't ask you. Yes, you both can come. But first, you need your parents' permission so you can come. Alright? Alright, sounds cool. Now I have to wait for everyone else especially the teacher. Hey Rosie. Oh, hey Dora. I'm just waiting for Miss Martin to arrive. Well, looks like some kids are coming in. Good morning, class. Today we will do some fun activities. At 8.15, we will take attendance. At 9 o'clock, we will do an English test. At 9.30. We will do a race outside, at 10 o'clock, there will be a lunch break, at 10.45, we will do science, at 11.30, there will be a second lunch break, at 12 o'clock, we will do a math test, at 12.15, we will do spelling on computers. So right now we will take attendance. Rosie. Here. Dora. Here. Little Bill. Here. Jack. Here. Sally. Here. All right. Now that everybody is here, we'll be doing an English test in 14 minutes. 
But before that, please bring out your homework everybody. Rosie. Where is your homework? Um, my dog ate it. I'm not gonna tolerate lies in this classroom, be honest. What actually happened? <sighs> Alright. I'll be honest. I didn't do my homework because I hate school. And I hate you for trying to force me to get educated. Hey. I don't tolerate hate speech in this class. If you hate school, then deal with it. It's not that hard. You know what? You got your first strike. You are now getting a strike counter. If you get all five strikes, expect to see the principal. Since Rosie doesn't have her homework, we can't do the English test. Let's just have a race outside or whatever. All right, let's do this. On your marks, get set, go. Let's win this race. I hope we will be winners and no one passes us. Hello, Rosie and Dora. I'm gonna beat you guys. What the hell? He bypassed me. Oh, he is not gonna get away with it. Yay, we're nearly at the finish line. Yay! We did it. We won the race. Oh my god. Rosie and Dora. Get your butts over here right this instant. I know what you guys did. You purposely eliminated Little Bill during the race. What is wrong with you? Making someone lose the race purposely does not count as winning. That's it, Rosie. Since you were the main culprit, I've given you your second strike. Three more to go and then you will get detention. So stop misbehaving. I still can't believe that I got two strikes today. Maybe what I did was wrong. Well, you basically made us lose by purposely eliminating Little Bill. I'm a bit disappointed in you. Luckily that I didn't get in trouble because I didn't really do anything bad today. Anyway, let's wait for science class. Alright. So now we are doing science, but before that, I gotta go fix something. But don't mess with the chemicals, I'll be back shortly. Ooh, I wonder what happens if I mix some random chemicals. Miss Martin, get in here. There is a fire. Put it out. What the hell? Phew. That was close. Rosie. Are you crazy? I said don't mess anything up while I was gone. You disobeyed me. I'm sorry, Miss Martin. I just wanted to have some fun. Does it look like we're having fun? Of course not. You nearly burnt down the school if Little Bill hasn't called me. You would have been arrested for committing arson. That's it. You've got your third strike. Two more to go and then detention. Just stop this already. Alright, now we are doing a math test. It's simple, don't cheat. I will read a book. <laughs> Miss Martin, what is this? Is that supposed to be basic? I don't even know what times is. It is basic. Times mean you multiply the number depending on what the number is. So you're just being dramatic. So shut up and focus, alright? Man, I can't believe that I have to do this stupid math test. I really don't want to waste any time by thinking of which ones are the right answers. What should I do? I know, I will cheat on my test by looking at someone else's answers. Ha 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 ha. Hey, were you trying to look at my answers? Miss Martin. Um, what's going on? 
Rosie was cheating on your math test by looking at my answers. Rosie, you do realize that I don't tolerate cheating in my class. The math test was basic. You should have thought of the answers yourself instead of looking at other students' answers. That's it. You got your fourth strike. One more to go and then detention. All right, now we are doing spelling on computers. Here are the websites and applications that you shouldn't be using. No YouTube, no Discord, no Instagram, no Beyond, no Gmail, no Zoom, no eBay, no Amazon, no Google, no TikTok, no Game Jolt, no GitHub, no Roblox, no Minecraft, no Fortnite, no Hello Neighbor, no Bloons TD6. You can do spelling only. I'll be in the other room if you need me. Man, I really hate spelling on computers. What should I do? I know. Since I'm bored, I will watch some YouTube videos. Hello guys, it's Kyu2K9 Gaming here, and today we are playing Minecraft. Miss Look, Martin, I made this Rosie cool is house. watching YouTube now videos I am going instead to build of spelling. Oh my god. Seriously, Rosie, what have I told you? No watching YouTube videos. Only spelling. But turns out you broke the rules. You know what? Go to detention. You've just earned your fifth and final strike. So, what brings you in here today, Rosie Anderson? So, I've caused some trouble today. And that caused me to get 5 strikes. The first thing that I did was that I forgot my homework and yelled at my teacher and said bad stuff about this school. The second thing that I did was tripping over Little Bill during the school race. The third thing that I did was nearly burning down the school by mixing the chemicals in science class. The fourth thing that I did was cheating on my math test. The final thing that I did was watching YouTube videos instead of doing spelling. I guess I'm in trouble now. Oh my god. Rosie. You are a disgrace to this school. The worst thing that you've done is that you nearly burnt down this school. You know what? I'm calling your parents to tell them that I'm suspending you for a week. Now stay quiet. Hello, this is Doris Anderson speaking. Wait what? Rosie did something bad? Alright. We are on our way. Don't worry. Boris. We have to pick Rosie up. Huh. <laughs> Rosie did some crap. I'm not surprised. Her behavior was really bad lately, so let's go and pick up Kalu and Rosie. Hey Miss Clementine. We are here to pick up Rosie. I'm sorry this happened. We will make sure this never happens again. Well, it better not. Alright. Let's go home now. Bye Miss Clementine. Rosie Anderson. We are so disappointed in you. Why would you forget to bring your homework, insult the teacher and the school, making little Bill trip over you during the race, nearly burn down the school during science class, cheat on your math test, and last but not least, watching YouTube videos instead of spelling. That's it, young lady. Go to your room. You're grounded for a week. Okay, I guess. But I thought I was grounded. I am not allowed to leave my room. Well, I did say that you're grounded and you can't come out of your room. But there is some exceptions. You can leave your room for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anyways, let's eat. So, how was your day today at school? It was good. 
I did some fun activities today. Well, uh, to be honest, it was bad. Well, maybe if you behaved and didn't do any bad stuff, none of this would have happened. It's obviously your fault. All right, let's not start any drama. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Mom, is it okay if I go to Dora's party? Yes, you can. But you have to come back at 10.30, all right? Okay, I promise. Can I go to the party too? No, of course not, because you are grounded, obviously. <sighs> oh my god, I really wanted to go to Dora's party, but my dad said no. This is so unfair. What should I do? I know, maybe I can make an excuse to go to the bathroom, and then I can sneak out of the house to go to the party. This is perfect. Ha 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 ha. Hey dad, can I go to the bathroom? I need to pee. Um, sure. But don't take too long. Now I have to wait for Kalu to go and then I'll quietly follow him. Bye mom and dad, I'm going now. I'll come back at 10.30. Now's my chance. Now to go to that destination. Oh hey Kalu. Rosie, don't you know that you're still grounded? You're supposed to stay home, not come to the party. Don't you dare tell on me or else I will take away your PlayStation. You want that? Uh, fine. But don't blame me when you will get in trouble. Oh look, Dora's house is over there. Hey guys, welcome to my party. Hey Dora. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad you're excited. Anyways, let's go inside. Well, what should we do first? I have no idea, Rosie. Wait a minute, I got an idea. How about we can play some hide and seek? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. But who will be the seeker? Me, I will be the seeker. All right, Caillou, you start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Dora, nine, where should we ten, hide? I don't 11, know. Twelve, well, we gotta figure 13, it out. Oh, 14, I know where to hide. 15, Follow me. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Coming, ready or not, here I come. I don't see them anywhere. I'll look in the kitchen. They are nowhere to be seen. I will check the pantry. Nope, they are not in there either. Wait, what the? I'm locked in here. Since when the hell does people add locks to a pantry nowadays? We did it, Dora. Kalu is now locked in, so let's have some fun with that Kalu. Let's go dance in the disco room. This party is awesome. I know, right? Yeah. This is 100 times better than staying at home locked up in my room. Ugh. I can't believe I have to stay in the pantry. This sucks. I wanted to snitch on her but I forgot my phone and I got locked in here. So what's the point now? I wonder where is Rosie? It's been 10 minutes now. Yeah. 
Honestly, I'm starting to get really worried about her going at this time of night, and I think I know what she's up to now. I have a feeling that she snuck to the damn party while she's still grounded. If she doesn't come by five minutes, I will look around the entire house to see if she went to the party or not. Rosie. If you hear me. I am not joking, you better come back this instant by five minutes. Otherwise you will be grounded for a long period of time. Do I make myself clear? Alright everybody. Food is ready on the table. Ooh, looks like we're having pizza. Yay. I know right. Anyway, let's eat. So, how did you manage to sneak out of the house? Well, basically, I tricked my dad to make him think that I was going to the bathroom. Instead, I sneaked out of the house and then I followed Kalu. And then I came here. Wow, that was a good plan. Anyway, I have an idea in mind that we can cause a lot of trouble, but I'll reveal it in a few days because I don't want to get caught by my mom. Oh, okay then. So, do you want to watch some YouTube after we eat? Sure thing. I know what we can watch. We can watch Rosie get grounded because it's entertaining in my opinion. And it's funny to watch videos of me getting grounded. Okay then. Wow. This yes. is awesome. Today you're Help me. Rosie, we had to throw away your food because it was cold. Are you gonna respond to me? If you don't respond in 5 seconds, then I'm coming in. You know what? I'm coming in. Hmm, seems like she's not in here. Maybe she must be in her room, I'm sure that she finished going to the bathroom. I wonder if she's in here. Holy shit! Where is Rosie? She is nowhere to be seen. Oh! She must have faked going to the bathroom to sneak to the party when she's still grounded. I will get her now. Did Rosie seriously have the nerve to go to the party while still grounded? Oh! She is gonna be busted when I arrive for the party. This is fun. Ha! Huh. You got caught red-handed. Why the hell would you disobey your own father? That's it. You are coming home with me. And how freaking dare you lock Caleb in the pantry. You are coming with me you little brat. Dad. How? How did you find me? Well, when I checked the bathroom and your room, I noticed that you were gone. So I came here and knew that you've gone to the party when you're still grounded. Come with me right now. Rosie. We are gonna have a serious talk when we get inside the house. Rosie Anderson. How could you disobey me, went to the party while grounded, and locked Caleb in the basement? That's it. Your grounding time has been extended to a month. That means no hanging out with Dora, no TV, no playing video games, no having fun on weekends, and much more. Go march upstairs to your room.
Maybe I shouldn't have went to the party. Rosie, wake up. We are going to the bowling alley to have some fun. Come on, Dad. Can't I just sleep for a few minutes? No, you cannot. We have to go now. Okay, okay. You don't have to repeat your sentence twice. Well, I had to repeat my sentence twice because you wouldn't get up, so that was necessary. Okay, since we are all dressed, let's get in the car. I am so excited to go bowling. Yeah, me too. Oh, we forgot to have breakfast. Let's stop at a cafe to have something to eat, and then we can go bowling. Good idea, Doris. Hello there. May I take your order? Hello, me and my husband would like some coffee and some croissants, and the kids would like some donuts. All right, that'll be $14.95. Okay, here is the money. Thank you, your food will be ready soon. Okay. So let's wait for our food, and then we can go bowling afterwards. Here is your food, enjoy! Mmm, that was delicious. Hey, no mobile devices. It's family time. So we should spend time with each other instead of wasting 5 minutes of your life playing mobile games. It's currently 10.28 am. So we have enough time to go to the bowling alley and have some fun. Twenty minutes later. Hello, welcome to the Bayan City Bowling Avenue. How may I help you? I would like four pairs of bowling shoes, please. There are the four of us. Okay, here you go. Have fun. Okay, now that we have our shoes on, let's play bowling. Alright, so, I will go first. Yes, I got a strike. Kalu, it's your turn. Alright. Oh, I missed, but I can try again. I got a spare. Mom, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, 
come on. I can't even get a strike or a spare. Let me try again at my next turn. Okay, Rosie. It's your turn again. Crap, I missed again. Why is my aim so terrible? That's it. I am so done with this stupid game. What? The actual hell? Look what you did. What were you thinking? Rosie? Not only did you ruin the game for yourself, but you ruined it for the entire family. Hey! I saw what happened on the CCTV footage. That screen costed three grand. It was my daughter's fault. If she didn't do this, then everything would have been fine by now. I don't care if it was your daughter's fault. You have to pay $3,000 for the damages. As a result of this BS, you are now banned from all of our bowling alleys. Now get the hell out of here! Just great. We got banned from all of the bowling alleys in Vion City. And it's your fault, Rosie. If you didn't do this in the first place, none of this would have happened. You are a disappointment to this family. Next time we go somewhere that is related to sports, you are not coming. You will be staying home with a babysitter. When we get home, your grounding time will be extended even more. I hope you learn your lesson. Rosie. Since we are back home, you are grounded for two months because you got us banned from all of the bowling alleys in Vion City. How dare you! So go upstairs to your room. I am so disappointed in you. The next day. Another typical and average day at school. Well, looks like I've got a deal with it. Oh, looks like the school bus is here. Bye, Dad. Meanwhile... Hey Rosie. Oh, hey Dora. What's up? So, I've got a plan of how we can destroy Vion City. Really? What is the plan about? So, we will go to a military base, and then threaten them to give us a nuclear bomb, and then we will place it in the middle of Vion City, and then we will set a timer on it for 24 hours. If someone doesn't disable the bomb in time, then it'll explode the entire city, and that's the entire plan. I don't want to do it now because I want to do it when I'm ready. That sounds like an awesome idea. I am gonna be prepared for it. Anyway, we gotta get to class now before we will be late. All right, class. Today we will do some English. Here is your English quizzes. Complete them in under one hour. <laughs> C 
So, about the plan that I was talking about, I was thinking that we should do it next week. Sounds cool. But how do we get to a military base? Basically, we could hijack our parents' cars, or we could call a taxi. I'd prefer using the first method since I don't want to waste any money. Alright. I am gonna be so prepared for it. Me too. Hey, Rosie. How was your day at school? It was good. That's good to know. Anyways, hop in the car. We will have dinner. So, how was your day at school? It was good. Ugh, it was fine I guess. That's good. Anyways, me, Kalu, and your mom are going out for dinner tomorrow night. So you have to be looking after the house. During that time, I have some rules for you when you are staying home. Rule 1, no sneaking out of the house. Rule 2, don't invite people over, we want the house to be in perfect shape. Rule 3, most importantly, always take care of the house. No exceptions. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. That's good. Anyway, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I can't wait for my master plan. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Today is the day that me and Dora will destroy Vion City. I am prepared for it. I'm gonna call Dora to ask her what time are we gonna do the plan. Hello, this is Dora speaking. Hey Dora. It's me, Rosie. So, I have something to ask you. When are we gonna do the plan of destroying Vion City? Oh, about that. We are doing it at midnight, when my parents are sleeping. During that time, we will hijack my mom's car and then we'll drive to the military base, after that, we will go inside and threaten one of the soldiers to give us a nuclear bomb, then we will go somewhere in Vion City and then we'll place the bomb and set the timer for 12 hours, then, if someone cuts the wrong rope, or if the timer will stop, then it'll fly in the air, and then it'll come crashing down and explode, so that's the entire plan. Okay. Sounds cool, I'll meet you at 11 p.m. Okay. Now I have to wait until my family goes out for dinner. Alright, Rosie. We are going now. Make sure to take care of the house when we are gone. See you at 1 o'clock a.m. Okay. Now that they are gone. I am gonna go to Dora's house so that we can do this plan already. Hey Rosie. Hey Dora, I'm glad that I'm here, rather than staying at home being grounded. Anyway, let's go inside and discuss the plan. Alright, this is the plan. 
We will steal my mom's car to drive to a military base, then we will threaten one of the soldiers to give us a nuclear bomb, then we will drive in the middle of Vian City, then we will place the bomb and set a timer on it, that way, if someone cuts the wrong rope, or if the timer runs out, then the nuclear bomb will fly in the air and it will go down and then it'll explode, so that's the entire plan. Okay, that's a good plan, let's do this. Let's sneak into my parents' room to get the car keys. All right, now that we have the key, let's go to the car. All right, our destination is ahead. It will take three minutes to get there. Okay, let's sneak in the military base, but first, we need to make a distraction. Bloody kids. Wow, look at those cool weapons. I might as well grab a shotgun for later. I will grab one too. Stop right there. What do you think you girls are doing here? Um, we were just looking for a nuclear bomb, that's all. Why the hell do you even want a nuclear bomb to begin with? I am not giving one to you, they are not toys you know. Hey, give us a nuclear bomb right this instant. Otherwise, I will pull the trigger. I also got a gun too. You better give us a nuclear bomb right now. Holy shit. Guys, you can't do this to me. I have a family. Then show us where a nuclear bomb is and then we will let you go, now. Okay, okay. You win. Just put your guns down already. Okay, good. Just follow my lead. Okay. There are some nuclear bombs here. Hope you girls are happy. God, I might get fired soon. Okay, let's bring the nuclear bomb to the car. Alright, now that we got the nuclear bomb, we can go to Vian City and place it there. Okay, so let's place the nuclear bomb. I will place the timer on the bomb, and I'm gonna shorten it to 12 hours instead of 24 hours because I want this city to be destroyed already. Alright, let's get out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me, Dora. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Rosie.
Okay, Dora. I have to go to bed now because it's 1.10 a.m. and I need to get up early. But it was nice hanging out with you. All right, Rosie. See you tomorrow. Well, looks like I have to go to work today. Not surprised that I have to work on a Sunday. Ooh, bacon and eggs, my favorite. I know, right? Yeah. Anyway, let's eat. That was delicious. Yeah, I agree with you, Rosie. Well, looks like it's time for me to go to work now. See you guys later. Hmm, I wonder why people are screaming all of a sudden. What the fuck? Oh no, this isn't good. Boris, is there something wrong? Well, yes, apparently, someone placed the nuclear bomb in the city and it will go off in four minutes. Wait, what? Let me see. What the hell? Oh my gosh, it's true. See, I told you so. Anyway, we need to think of a way to stop it, fast. Uh, guys, what's going on? Basically, there is a nuclear bomb in the middle of one city, and if we don't stop it in time, we will die. <gasps> oh no, this is bad. Yeah, I know. Actually, I'm gonna go stop it. Oh no, you don't. Ow! Ha ha. Now you can't stop it. Don't you even think about getting away with it, you little brat. Hey, what are you doing to me? I demand you to let me go. Not until you disable the bomb and- Oh! That hurts so much! Oh my god! Looks like they need some help. I'll be back. Rosie and Dora! You better stop this right now! Or else... Or else what? Or you will face the serious consequences. Whoa, I'm so scared. Actually, I got the flyers that can disarm the bomb, and there is nothing you can do about it. Haha, uh -huh. how about no? Oh my god. Here you go. You better do the fires right now you stupid piece of crap. Not so fast. Hey, look what you did to Dora. I do not tolerate violence toward any of my friends. That's it. I will shoot you. You sure? Now's your chance. Okay. Yes! 
I did it! I saved Beyonce! Wait, really? Congrats, man. Rosie Anderson and Dora Marquez. You are under arrest for committing theft and terrorism. Get your asses in the car right now. Thanks for letting me know about what happened. Rosie and Dora, you're coming with me. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Hold on a minute. Where am I? Well, apparently, during the fight scene that happened an hour ago, Dor kicked your testicles making you go to the hospital for a long time, and Rosie and Dor are going to jail now for committing so many crimes. So, would you like to come to Vion City Jail to say your last words to them before they go to jail for life? Absolutely. I wanna say my last words to that degenerate daughter of mine. I'm honestly really glad that she's going to jail. She did this to herself. Okay, but you need to get a wheelchair since you can't walk. I already know that. Man, I hate being in jail. This sucks. I know, right? This sucks. Looks like we are in jail for life because we committed so many crimes. Will you guys just stop complaining already? You guys did this to yourself. The damage has already been done. So you are not gonna get away with it. Also, you have some visitors that wanna see you. Rosie Anderson. We are so disappointed in you. How dare you try to destroy Yon City with a nuclear bomb and committed some crimes. You are a disgrace to the family. You have no idea of how angry I am right now. And this is not a happy face. Why would you do this? Yeah, I agree with your dad. I can't believe that you would do something like this. You did realize that you were gonna die if the nuclear bomb wasn't disarmed. But guys, Dory made me get involved in this. It doesn't matter. You still have to go to jail because you nearly shot Jet's brother you psycho. Dora, how could you do this to all of us? You know better than that. I didn't expect that you would do something like this. Yeah, I agree with your mom. I can't believe your mom gave birth to someone like you. I'm so done with you Dora. Rosie, what the hell were you thinking? I don't know why you got influenced by Dora and committed some crimes. You know what Rosie? I don't trust you as my sister anymore. Have fun being in jail you idiot. Rosie and Dora, words can't describe of how angry I am at you two. You guys committed terrorism, possession of a rifle, shooting a rifle, attempted murder, theft, and almost killed my brother. You guys got in life in jail despite you guys being a child. Hope you learned a valuable lesson you dumb kids. And Rosie, after what you did, this is going to be the last time that we will see you. I wish you were never our daughter. How could you be that stupid to commit some crimes? And Dora, you are a bad influence on Rosie as well. We are gonna put you guys in a different cell eventually, because I don't want you guys to bail each other out. And Dora, this is the last time I am seeing you. You're also a disgrace to this family. Rosie and Dora, if you even try escaping jail, I will knock both of you guys out and call the police on you. Goodbye Rosie. You stupid daughter. I give up. Same here. It's all my fault.